The sun was finally shining on a tree house today that's been submerged underwater for weeks. Thanks for joining us. Some Josh Rowe Bliss segment explains how February's record rainfall is still affecting us here at home. She takes us to Reflection Riding Arboretum and Nature Center. Parts of this boardwalk are still closed. That's because it spent several days underneath the water. You can tell that the wood here is still a little bit squishy after it spent several days covered underneath the floods. Floodwaters blocking the boardwalk. This video is from March 1st. Not even experienced nature enthusiasts could wade through the water. Something that we know is probably going to happen, but not at the level of water it happened this time. Tish Galmard is the director of wildlife at the Nature Center. February's flooding was some of the worst she's seen in her 19 years here. This is something that um, we, you know, don't budget for. So when something like this occurs, we we have to get it together and figure out how we're going to take care of things. But this isn't the first time this area has flooded. Right now they're dealing with broken boardwalks and muddy floors. They're relying on community financial support and the volunteer spirit to restore this area. It's the first day of spring, so I'm really excited that it's warming up and drying out. Katherine Kircher is a volunteer with the River City Collective. She says some of the kids in her care might be the key to this cleanup. Getting them to see what they could do for themselves is great. It's unclear how extensive the damage is right now. Water levels are still well above normal. It'll take several more days of sunshine before the area can be safely evaluated. But it's nothing we can't recover from. Just, you know, some some uh, hard work and scrubbing and cleaning and good community support. As we mentioned, a good portion of this tree house was underwater. You can't tell where the trees were actually affected, but you can tell over here these chairs were underwater. You can see the water line right here. That's about three feet, maybe a little bit more. And as I mentioned, we're already at a pretty high elevation right now. They say now comes the cleanup. They've got to get rid of all this dirt, debris and soot that's all over the ground. Well, let's segment with that story. Hundreds of animals called the Nature Center home. Workers say they do not believe any animals were hurt by the hot.